guys, we are now on the way to Baguio. Welcome to the last day of our daily vlog, the finale, baby. And that's when you know, you know, when the maleta is all zipped up, it's time to party, baby. How are we feeling, Dad? Excited? Excited? What are we gonna do? Why, why are we even going to Baguio? We are for change, and we've been called. It's a mission. Can't you see? Everything else is trimmings. That's the foundation, the transformation of people of Baku City. What? How many books do you have in there? We also pray for our protection. So cute. Final day of our daily vlog. We are here in Baguio City, my dudes. So this is what we kind of have planned. Well, in my head, I haven't communicated this to the rest of my family, but I want to go and probably thrift shop today and just look at some of the museums because I have not gone to a museum in a very long time. Anyway, as I mentioned in all of my vlogs, we never know what's going to happen. Life is just gonna happen to us as we please. And um, we're gonna be exploring Baguio City today. So look at this beautiful view to everybody that has been super committed to watching all of the daily vlogs. I love you guys so much. And I hope that this final vlog is going to be a nice bow. Um, to tie off this whole experience. Um, yeah, today we've got a lot in store and I'm excited, so let us begin! Where are we going, Dad? We are now in Omai oh Gulai, which is a very, very beautiful restaurant slash museum, looks it. I know, it's like a madhouse. Look at this, beautiful. All this food, all vegetarian. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> What are you so yes. proud of me for looking at it? I'm not even eating it yet. Let's see if I actually eat it. You're gonna enjoy it, I'm telling you. The typical situation is everybody orders and my mom has to pick pick from people's food or she has to just get like the side salads and stuff. But mom, how does it feel like that the whole menu caters to you? I'm so excited <laughs> because I can have everything here. And it's like I'm I'm honored you and are I'm honored. favored today. Can you do say that too? Oh my gulai. Oh my gulai. Wait now. Okay, but can we can we get like that? Hmm. Is there any fork left? What's the name of it? What's the name of it? Anak ng putneska. Okay, this is the thing with Anthony. He eats everything that has four legs except tables and chairs and i have been a vegetarian for 20 years so let's see how he is now veggie burger veggie burger wait look at this first oh yeah oh my god
Wutsuman. Wutsuman? Try a straw. Mama, your daughter has never tried suman. No, that's not true. Wutsuman. Oh, later you'll find out and you'll say, Ah, I've tasted this. So guys, we are in the Bateron. And we are going to be getting some hot chocolate. Mm, yes. Look, I got this one. Oh, this is what you got from the artist village. Da -da. It's handmade. The girl who's selling it said that she first she got a mold and then she put the stuff in the mold and then she let it dry and then she had this. So um, she made it by herself and everything she sells, she made. And you will be seeing Ate Ella tomorrow. Oh yes, by the or way. Or tonight. Wait, why is Ate Ella not here? She has an event, so she's not here right now. But it's very, 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 very important. Agreed. Okay, so. I have two major revelations from daily vlogging. Number one is just a vlogger is a false statement. Making something look raw and real is so difficult and it takes hours of editing. It takes technical skill, making sure the audio is okay, the lighting is perfect. Okay, this is it. My laptop just died. The angles are just right. Oh, that's all one person's job. And that's not easy. Another thing is vloggers risk the embarrassment of taking around a huge camera in such random places and talking to somebody as if they actually are seeing a face. That's a big price to pay. What you don't see is all of the take twos. You see the vlog of the night of. Huh? Like the vlog that happened. Oh, what am I saying? To when I actually recorded it. What am I saying? Um, I keep on saying wrong things again. All of the put camera down, walk out, walk again. <laughs> So next time if you see a vlogger, or if you know, somebody's talking about a vlogger and somebody says, oh, they're just a vlogger. They're just a YouTuber. Think about all that I just said. You only see what you see. And what you don't see takes a lot of skill. It takes a lot of commitment. And honestly, I don't think just anybody can do it. So give them a pat on the back for me, okay? My second revelation is, life can never be replicated in any form. Whether that's video, whether that's music, whether that's writing. Life as we know it, life as it happens, you're only ever able to capture fragments of it. And not all the best parts. And moments that you'd consider kind of boring. But those are still significant. 2% of the things that you guys saw are moments that I genuinely loved. But those were only the moments that I was able to press record on my camera. All of the other moments that I was like, oh my god, I wish I was recording. I wasn't able to capture them. And honestly, I'm kind of happy I didn't. Personally, some moments are better witnessed instead of captured. I think adding a camera to the mix might spoil the beauty of a moment. So sometimes it's better kept off. <laughs> But emphasis on the sometimes. There are moments that are meant to be captured. I completely believe that. But there are some moments that are best left untouched. But at the end of the day, this week has really taught me the beauty of documenting and the beauty of sharing that documentation with the world. It has been such an opportunity taking you guys on this week with me, especially because this is something I told myself I would never be able to do. But hey, the late nights, the struggles, the carrying of an extra few pounds with me, with this camera, and maybe annoying my family members in the process. Even if it is absolutely impossible to capture life just as it is, even the fragments, even the little parts, even the efforts of documentation are absolutely worth it because there are moments in time frozen and kept forever. 
I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.